What's up guys and welcome back to my channel Action Makes More. Now if you're new around here today we will be going over my top three favourite shoulder exercises to do during lockdown. Now obviously I know gyms are opening up again very soon so with that said these exercises can also be applied within the gym as well. I will go through the exercises, the form that you need for the exercises and how you can implement them into your training programme. But without further ado let's get into the video. Right then guys, so as I mentioned in my last two previous videos I've done, which is back and chest workouts, if you have not already seen them, I highly recommend checking them out. They can be very helpful towards your success in regards to your body's composition. I'll put a link on screen now and they will also be down now in the description. If you want to go ahead and buy any of the equipment I use today, which will be a barbell, a dumbbell and some resistance bands, I will also put them in the description. Very handy for when you need to do a little home workout. Alright guys, intro aside, let's get into the workout. Right then, so Oh, actually. So guys, when it comes to working your shoulders, you have three major heads that you want to hit. You've got your anterior deltoid, your mid deltoid, and your rear deltoid. A lot of people whilst in the gym leave out the rear deltoid, which really doesn't help towards the growth of the shoulder in general. Working out the rear deltoid will give you that full, thick, rounded shoulder look, but everybody so desires so don't miss out the rear deltoid now usually when i'm in a gym i will do shoulder press as my first exercise as it's more of a compound movement and you want to make it quite a heavy one after a warm up in my home workout gym however i only have a barbell and one dumbbell adjustable bar thingy so unless i was going to do single arm press which i have been doing i would usually use the barbell to do a sergeant press as my first exercise seated that is the good thing about having a single arm press is that with a single arm press you can work on any muscle imbalances you may have within your shoulders by doing a couple of extra reps on one shoulder or whichever and it's the same with any other muscle group as well but for the purposes of this video i would definitely say the seated barbell sergeant press has been an absolute winner for myself when performing this exercise guys you want to make sure that you have your shoulders back and down so we're retracted and make sure that they remain retracted throughout the whole movement. The reason for this is because of why you can put too much stress on your shoulder and therefore injure yourself. When you come up, you want to have it about chest level, shoulders right back and when you push, push straight up, don't lock out your shoulders, come back down to about 90 degrees or your chin with the barbell and go back up. That is a rep. Any lower, then you're putting a bit too much strain on your shoulder and you're not really keeping the time and attention great because I'm almost resting here. However, if I have the weight here, my shoulders are contracting and I can feel that. And when pushing up, it seems a bit harder. With this being a compound movement, I'd say around about five sets of eight as heavy as you can. So make sure the weight is in and around your max six to eight rep range. Right then guys, so the weight has been added, the warm has been done. Let's get this shoulder workout on the go. Focus on your time, on the tension. The tempo will be quite fast on this one because it is a compound movement. Up, slight rest, down, one, two. So guys, next up we have the lateral raise with the resistance bands. Now on the previous exercise, the sergeant press, we were mainly targeting, it isn't a compound movement, but mainly targets the anterior delt. Now, as you said at the very start, there are three heads of the deltoid you need to be hitting, which is the anterior, mid and rear. Whilst doing this exercise, you want your shoulders retracted and down. So when doing this exercise, the main thing that's gonna help you out is keeping your shoulders depressed. You allow your shoulders to come up whilst doing the exercise, your traps and your lats and your rhomboids all kick in. So whilst doing it, you want your shoulders depressed and you wanna focus you want to get the mind muscle connection on your mid delt. So slow, steady, and controlled. Like so. 
And as you can see, what I'm doing is exhaling my mid out well flare. It's almost like you're pulling them up. Try to keep your arms straight. Pull up the ropes. Shoulders back and down. For myself personally, I use this in a superset. For the superset, we'll be doing 12 reps of resistance bands and then straight into 12 reps of seated lateral raise with a 2.5 kilogram. Now, as I say guys, these are horrendously heavy weights, so you really want to focus on time and attention and really keeping the focus on your mid delt. Now, with that being said, my music going up, so let's do this. this exercise guys is when and it's the same with the resistance bands as well when pulling the weight up and keeping your shoulders depressed you do not want to allow your thumb to go up because if your thumb goes up whilst lifting the weight you're just going to start working your anterior delt you want to keep your thumbs level parallel with with the mirror or whatever it is in front of you and if you're not feeling it slightly tweak it downwards a bit and see if you feel it like that. So guys, we're now moving on and we're targeting the rear delt. This is a very important small head in the deltoid. As I said earlier, it gives the full rounding shape of the shoulder itself. And it's very useful for whilst you're doing back movements like the dumbbell row or the barbell row. Basically, it's a muscle that should not be forgotten and it should be incorporated into your workout as a targeted exercise if it is a weakness in your body. So, we're gonna do some resistance bands, reverse flies. Now, like we did with the mid delt, the rear delt is near enough. The same sort of strategy I'm gonna go for. And I'm gonna superset that with bent over, weighted, reverse flies again. It's almost the same movement, but with pressure on your rear delt whilst in a shortened position. So, whilst doing both of these exercises, the form is essential. But whilst doing this exercise, you want to have your back straight, you want to have your chest out, but you want to slightly allow your shoulders to pronate. And this is going to allow you to work the rear delt very well. If you have your shoulders all the way back and you do this sort of movement, your rear delt will still work, but more effectively it will be your rhomboids, your lats and your traps. So whilst doing this exercise, you want to slightly push your shoulders forward and go to a position where you can feel the shortening of the rear delts, which I'm sure you guys can probably see here. I can definitely feel it when I've got my shoulders attracted to that position. And you want to keep it nice and controlled because if you do not have this as a controlled movement, you could really injure your shoulder. However, enough said, let's get into the superset. Music!
A couple of things to bear in mind whilst doing this exercise, guys. Guys, make sure, obviously, if you've got lower back issues, support yourself on a bench if you can, so you're not constantly bent over. I find that I get the best contraction with a pronated grip because if you have it, so it's not pronated, it's not for myself. It doesn't target all the way down. If you imagine there is a line, an invisible line in your pronated grip when you're bringing it up and you keep it in that line. Your rear delt is that line and it will contract it. Overall, give you a very good workout on that muscle. So then guys, that's about it for my top three favorite exercises. I've done a shoulder workout around that as well. So I'm absolutely dead right now and I'm not eating now. I was training faster then, so I'm gonna go make some naughty protein cookies, I think. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it gave you some good value. If you have any pointers or questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments down below. If this video did provide you value, all I ask is that you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and feel free to share it around to any of your friends as it can be very helpful. Let me know what your favorite shoulder exercise is and what muscle group you want to see next week from myself. I hope you enjoyed the video and with that being said, I will see you tomorrow for another quote a day. I hope you all have a boss day and with that being said, peace.